on the president-elect's agenda today, and really, is it more about what he didn't say at last night's rally that stood out to you? Well, no public events for him. He's uh, at his home in Palm Beach, Florida this morning. But a number of things did stick out. You mentioned the Electoral College uh, and the electors who will meet tomorrow around the country. Uh, Donald Trump was calling the founding fathers genius. It's a genius idea, he said, to have the Electoral College. That's notable because, of course, he lost the popular vote and talked about how he would have campaigned differently if the Electoral College were not the path to get to the White House. Also striking how much he has enjoyed his rally in terms of a sort of a giant hug with supporters. This was a very pro-Trump crowd in Mobile, Alabama. It was also notable that over time we've seen if anyone criticizes Trump, he usually hits back much harder. He did not do that with Michelle Obama, and yet he brought up her comments. So that was fascinating. And what we saw from Trump was no comment on China, no comment on Russia. And it, it seems that he is still celebrating his victory and still willing to pick a few fights. From the water cannon salute at the airport to a greeting from Southern Bells, Donald Trump relished his last rally of 2016. Freedom! But he also did something unexpected. Trump disputed a widely publicized comment from the First Lady. Michelle Obama said yesterday that there's no hope. Referring to this interview with Oprah Winfrey. See, now we're feeling what not having hope feels like. The Alabama crowd booed, and Trump appeared stung by the criticism. I'm telling you, we have tremendous hope. Then claimed Mrs. Obama just misspoke. I honestly believe she meant that statement in a different way than it came out. While the Obamas vacation in Hawaii, the Trumps will spend the holidays in Palm Beach. Still unresolved, how the president-elect will separate himself from his business interests. Trump spokeswoman Hope Hicks said in a statement, under no circumstances has Mr. Trump requested, nor would he participate in briefings regarding the business during his presidency. With his oldest children involved in both the transition and the family empire, Trump's team has yet to present a plan to avoid conflicts of interest, but hinted he is not against restrictions on speaking with his family regarding the business. Still a month from taking office, but Trump tweeted his way into a dust-up with China over their seizure of a U.S. Navy underwater drone in the South China Sea. We should tell China we don't want the drone they stole back. Let them keep it. And Donald Trump, of course, commenting on China is notable because he had that phone call with the Taiwanese president a couple of weeks ago, a congratulatory call. That really uh, was uh, an offense to China in terms of the U.S. relationship with China. So any tweets, any comments are very notable. He's not talking about Russia. That is also notable. But at these events, you really get the sense that he is enjoying the being different. He talked about while this was supposed to be the last rally of the thank you tour, of the 2016 campaign, taking time off for the holidays, he said he might do more rallies uh, next year as a way to talk about his agenda and to ad advance some of his ideas. He likes the format, uh, and we might see more of it, even though this was supposed to be the end of the campaign trail. Francis? All right, along with everything else when it comes to Donald Trump, you, you never know. Uh, so we will see.